What's with um, insurance companies and having weird ass commercials? That's pretty much every company anymore. Like you think Geico, they had the uh, what was it? Where they said, with, they have Geico has the lizard, and mm-hmm. I don't know about State Farm. Oh, now now I remember State Farm. State Farm is the uh, the just, teleporting agents. That, that, that shit. It's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. In this episode of our season with Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, we're going to be completing race 21 of 36, which is going to take place at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the All-State 400 at the Brickyard. In the last episode, we raced at Pocono Raceway, which is, of course, my favorite track in NASCAR. Um, in that race, we ran out of gas with Michael Waltrip, and we DNF'd on the last lap of the race while trying to block everybody from passing us going down the long back straightaway like a freaking moron. But, yeah, half the people in the world would do that. So this is a very special video. Um, it's going to be featuring a guest co-commentator, Rhino GT4. Hello there. I'm Rhino GT4. Now the reason why it's in this race particular is because this is his home track, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, even though it doesn't belong in NASCAR, period, regardless of how amazing it is. But... You know, so I saw Michael Waltrip is going to be starting in second. I didn't see Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the qualifying order, but oh well, we'll find out afterwards. We're going to go into qualifying and hope that I know what I'm doing at this track. Here we go down the long front straightaway at Indianapolis Motor Speedway to start a first lap of qualifying. I doubt I'm going to do very well, but um, while we're at it, you can go ahead and tell him about your channel. He just started an LP of NASCAR 2005. He's going to go through the entire game. Uh, looking forward to New Hampshire, if anything. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I do a lot of Let's Plays on YouTube of racing games. Uh, like you said, I'm currently working on NASCAR 2005, as well as a few other games uh, like Forza Motorsport 4, and also have an ongoing LP of Dirt 4, which just came out recently. Um, but what I'm probably most known for is my series of Gran Turismo Let's Plays. Cause I've that's, done... actually, that's actually how I found your channel, uh, 2013, whenever you're doing mm-hmm. Gran Turismo 4. Also, that was a, such a very bad lap time. <laughs> I, this car refuses to respond. Oh my god. I think I found my niche going into the corner right there. I don't know. Uh, uh, like, I hit the brakes and left the gas, and it force of the front of the car to the bottom of the track or something, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Regardless of how well I got the second part of that lap, I'm going to start last place, so that's just, that's fantastic, a horrible effort. Uh, have I qualified last place this season, guys? I don't even remember. I don't think I have. Well, what a perfect video to do that in. Okay, then. So, Michael Waltrip is going to start in second, we already talked about that. I want to see where Dale is. Not in the top ten. Uh, he's in 17th, and he's in third in points right now, so I guess we have work to do with Junior. I need to do some work with Michael Waltrip, because I just put him in sixth place in the point standings after running out of gas with him on the last lap of Pocono, so, yeah. But first, I've got to get Martin Trex Jr., our points leader, all the way through the freaking field, because I don't know how to drive this damn track in this god for second game. <sighs> Okay, from the tail of the field behind Jeff Green, Kyle Petty, green flag is out, and we are underway for 12 laps at the Brickyard. Uh, It's going to be more exciting than any Brickyard race ever in history. In NASCAR, that is. This is the part where I would sink back home again in Indiana if I knew the lyrics. (laughs) Da, 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 da. That works too. <laughs> okay. I cannot pass right now, okay. Don't know what to do just yet. I'm not gonna try to make it three wide, I'll just stay at the bottom and then try not to hit people. Oh my god, look at all these people I pissed off wrecking everybody at the end of 
Pocono. No. And Martin Truex Jr.'s car. Compared to Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car and Michael Waltrip's car. Ah, Jeff Green, bitch. Oh my. I Jeff, swear to God, if this was Michael Waltrip. Um, Jeff Green, for some reason, he's been pissed at Michael Waltrip ever since Las Vegas, which was, what, 18 races ago? 19 races ago? But for some reason, the team control feature has Jeff Green so pissed at Michael Waltrip, he wrecked it every time he's next to him. Oh, Jesus! The man oh, holds grudge. God. Jeff Green just hit Jeff, Jason Leffler. Okay, whatever. I don't race at this track often enough. Wow, we're going off the track. Oh! Yeah, kept it off okay. the wall. What's funny is that it didn't look as if we made contact, but our cars reacted as if we did. <laughs> That's the uh, horrible hit detection thing. Alright, so... Are you going to be in doing multiple seasons in NASCAR 2005 of uh, Whale Modified, or you think you'll be into the Truck Series um, um, after the first one? Uh, definitely not after the first season. My plan with NASCAR 2005, the career mode is, since you can, like, buy your own team, like, the goal is to win each of the four championships as an owner-slash-driver before moving to the next, so it will definitely be at least two seasons oh, shit. in the modified oh, shit. series. Well, oh, no. Oh, my God. I had to get off the gas early so I could get to the bottom of the track without sliding up into them, but we got stuck to each other, and same old story. Well, we didn't lose any positions, but we damaged our car, so that's great. Man, I've got to get Dale and our junior up there. Thank God Michael Walter is already started well. But, I need to get Dale Earnhardt Jr. up there because he's third in points. I had them 1, 2, and 3 for several weeks of this LP. And then just this past week. God dang it, car. Okay. Just this past week, I had it. one of my drivers fall to fourth. And then they just swapped places after a horrible race for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, God. Oh, you going to turn that time? Golly! How many times does this have to happen? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh screw it. I cannot take this crap anymore. No, let's just drop the freaking tire pressure and then put that. Okay. We'll take our pit stop now with these guys instead of switching to one of my teammates or whatever. But I am sick of how this car has been driving all race long. First it would turn just fine and then all of a sudden it's going up on everybody. We'll check the sheet metal. Uh, that tire not a good race. Quick. It didn't feel like tire wear, it just felt like Martin Trex Jr.'s car in general. In comparison mm -hmm. to my teammates' cars, this one is just... Ugh. It's a miracle I somehow got the points lead at this point, I think. Also, Dale pitted with us. There's a lot of cars that pitted. Yeah. I can't believe I just did that. That was dirty as hell. <laughs> just pushed Ryan even into the grass going off pit road and passed him. Well, we got people coming off pit road, so there's going to be a lot more cars and all these spaces in between these guys in front of us, so. Yeah. Pretty sure Jeff Green's really pissed off at us right now. Got past him. Well, we're not in last. Yeah. But as long as Martin Trek Jr. still has the points lead after this race, I should be satisfied. But, I mean, I don't even remember how many points his lead is because it didn't tell us at the beginning, did it? Uh, I like don't think so. 100, 100 points or something like that. That should be fine. Okay, where are. Michael Waltrip is still down pit road, okay. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is actually probably in the same position he was at the beginning. I think he might have actually gained position since the start of this race. He looks like he's in the top ten. Oh, God! Stop rear-ending this guy. Jamie McMurray. It's weird how I can get off the gas and still rear-end Jamie McMurray. 
reminds me of NASCAR Thunder 2002 whenever you get off the gas and it makes you faster <laughs> in the draft at the super speedways. Okay. James McMurray hit Boris Ed as he came off the road. Okay. Gosh, I hate being underneath people going into these turns. Dang it, hit the friggin' curve. Uh good God. I'm in twenty second? I was in last. God damn. I'm destroying this car. And I'm also somehow in the middle of the field instead of at the back like it was before I took my pit stop. Okay, this tire wear is making the car not respond. That car's starting to look a little tight. I'm trying to find a way to take the corners differently on these tires, so I'm just getting off the gas way up on the outside and then throwing the car down at the bottom. This game has a weird physics, so if you get off the gas, the back of the car gets really loose. And I try to use that sometimes. Oh my god, it's doing it! Oh. God dang it! Ah, uh, he hit the wall. Oh my god. Okay, now the tire wear is making me loose everywhere I go. This is nuts. I've only been driving as Martin Trek Sr. Now, as a matter of fact, I shouldn't be racing as anymore. I should switch to one of my teammates. Okay, he's getting low on fuel, but he's going to make it. I'm going to switch to Michael Waltrip after passing Kevin Harvick. Hopefully I do that, but... Oh my god, the car is sliding all over the fucking place! Oh man, I'm going to leave Martin Trick Sr. on the outside I'm trying to block. That is not going to work. Gosh, it's turning more than I need it to at some times just because of these freaking hard tires. Ah, damn it! No. <laughs> Fuck balls, man! I can't get a break with these fucking tires. Ah, uh, I gotta switch to Michael Walter before this race is over. I almost didn't do it. And we're only gonna be able to make up like one position with him, are we? If one of the drivers can get the win, that'd be still really good. Well, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is somewhere in the top ten. Carl Edwards is gonna dominate this entire freaking race. Uh, my inability to drive this Martin Trex Jr.'s car at the beginning of the race surrounded by traffic is just gonna ruin us. And the tire was helping for a bit, but it was loose into the corner, loose off of the corner, and I'd bump into somebody and it'd make me loose and slide up the track, and it was so bad. Also, I'm finishing another race in a row with Michael Walter, but that's that. At least he had gas this time. Yes, that is good. <laughs> Dale R. Jr. got 8th, Michael Walter 11th, and Martin Trek Jr. probably finished in 21st. Well, I mean, at least we all finished in the top half of the field. That's something that we didn't accomplish last time. Carl Edwards led 10 laps in this race. Out of the 12 laps that there were, he started third and finished in first, so he got up there quickly. That had to just be pit stops or something. Uh, Matt Kenseth started fifth and finished second. Stewart started on pole and finished in third. I have no idea who that is. Uh, Kurt Busch. I hate these stupid results. They don't tell you who the drivers are. Yeah. Kurt Busch started 13th and finished in 4th and led 1 lap. Elliot Sather started 15th and finished in 5th. Jimmy Johnson started 6th and finished in 6th and led a lap. Jeff Gordon started 4th and finished in 7th. Junior started 17th and managed to get 8th all on his own. I wish that he Very did that nice. in the past couple of races, but he... I don't know what the hell was wrong with his car at Chicagoland, but... It was vehicular diarrhea on tire wear. <laughs> Greg Biffle started 11th and finished 9th, and Bobby Labonte started 27th and finished in 10th. Okay, Waltrip started 2nd and finished 11th, so he's basically the opposite of Junior in this race. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., that is. And I'm just going to go ahead and look at this stuff, because some people are obsessed with the race results. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Mark Drex Jr., you're in 21st and you lost 4 positions on the last lap of the race. Damn it. And I thought we had them all finishing in the top half of the field. The stage just keeps getting better and better. Guess not even the AI can handle those tires. Okay. I don't know who this is. Some fancy driver finished dead last. 
And uh, Joni Machek, Scott Wimmer, Jason Leffler, Kenny Wallace, all those guys. Well, thanks for watching the race. We can go ahead and take a look at the point standings now. Wow, we're all still in the same place as Martin Trex and you're still our points leader. Well, that's good. But Tony Stewart definitely closed in. We were all 1, 2, and 3 at one point. But anyways, Delnar Jr. is in third place, 69 back. Jeff Gordon's in fourth. Uh, Greg Biffle's in fifth. Mike Waltrip is still in sixth. So, I guess that's good. I need to get my stupid freaking head back in the game so I get these guys back in the top three. Of course, the chase does begin in, like, what, five races now? Okay. Carl Edwards, seventh. Kurt Busch, eighth. Jimmy Johnson, ninth. Matt Kenseth, tenth. And, uh... The rest of the guys, it's only the top 10 that makes the chase in 2005, if I'm correctly remembering that. I think that's okay. right. I know there's like 12, and then there's 15, and then there was 16, and then, oh my god, I don't know why they have to And then you have to win a race, and then you have to like, I don't you know. You have to win three races in one race? Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be Martin Trix. How did Martin Trex Jr. go from finishing 25th to winning stage races every single freaking weekend? Because <laughs> Furniture Row is good. Next week we're going to Watkins Glen International trademark logo thingy. And that's going to be the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. Race 22 of 36, 7 laps. Hopefully I don't kill that many AI because the past few races I've just been wrecking people. And... Having tight race cars, running out of gas. Uh, Dale Jr.'s breaking his car's neck, and then he's got so many car troubles. I don't even know what the hell's wrong with Dale Jr.'s car lately, but <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining me for this absolutely horrible race, Rhino. Thanks You're, for having me. You are my biggest inspiration. You were the one that inspired me to start doing YouTube whenever I was watching you play Gran Turismo 4 like four years ago. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. That's that. And one of the worst episodes yet. Again, over.